hey everybody it's been about a week since I left the hospital uh, my platelets and stuff haven't gone up but um, they've said over you know it's been two weeks and they've been pretty stable low but stable um, I can either sit at home or, or basically sit in the hospital so I've been at home um, overall it's been uh, a little hard but trying really hard to stay positive try to get out of my house at least once a day uh, you know, just be around people, either go out to dinner, um, or the movies, or I got a haircut, you know, just things to try to, to keep my, uh, positivity up, um, and keep busy. Um, it hasn't always worked. <laughs> it's been rough, um, mentally on occasion, but, um, and I still have to go to the hospital almost every day, so I go for monitoring, uh, Monday and Thursdays. And then uh, last week the, the platelets actually went down, so they called me back in for treatments, um, which is just like this infusion room where you get an IV and I sit there for like eight hours and um, it's a very uh, interesting, unexpected uh, experience to say the least. Um, but yeah, yeah, so basically um, they think either my platelets will go up or stay the same or go down. <laughs> and only time will tell, but uh, there's different paths of action for each. Um, if they go down, maybe I'll go back to the hospital, but um, time will tell. So it's, it's, uh, just trying to stay positive. So here's a summary Instagram style from the first day I got let out of the hospital. Appreciation post to the best meal and enjoyment I've had in weeks, words cannot explain just got out of the hospital. I'm tired and grocery shopping is a pain, but it's so nice to be out of the hospital. Thanks for helping. At the doctor still for consistent monitoring. Day one, out of the hospital. Not healthy yet, but the doctors told me to try to assimilate back into normal life. I donated 10 inches of hair today to try to give back and start anew. Splurged on a haircut and dye. It was like $150, a lot of money. Got out of the house. Dog is cute. Didn't get the health news I wanted today, but the doctor is hoping to keep me from being readmitted into the hospital. I'm trying to stay positive. Day four of self-care. Got a haircut, did some yoga, went to the movies by myself, and treated myself to bubble tea. It's like dating myself, and I'm trying to reassimilate back into the life. But tomorrow I go back to the hospital for more medication. At the hospital, getting medicine, dog came to visit the hospital at the cancer center. Five hours of straight steroids, it's actually IBIG. The chemo room is strangely communal and lonely at the same time. My medicine lasts longer than most, so I tend to be here at the end. Still producing vlogs, I edit the most recent video pumped on steroids in the hospital. Check it out. Three days before editing, the doctors thought I had untreatable cancer. Can you tell? Also, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Might as well. I'm pro-medicine. Give me everything, except it seems like they already have. Antibiotics, hormones, steroids, vitamins, plus IVIG for six hours a day. Another hospital day, baked cookies for the nurses. Seven hours and counting. Barry still doesn't talk back. Pretty lonely at the transfusion center. Set a goal to make 400 cookies for a homeless shelter to help pass the time. 241 cookies completed, baked for seven hours today. the shelter has a 400 cookie minimum that's why the cookies are so high challenge accepted it's been a while since I've had good medical news numbers keep dropping all good vibes appreciated I was called in for treatment and can't hound out the cookies today started chemo for the first time uh, happened to be the same day the cookies are due but thank goodness it's okay I still got the cookies to the homeless shelter first day of chemo they said it's like little chemo, I won't lose my hair. Only one left. Hey everybody, it's Barry. Um, I'm 
everybody. Been a hectic, hectic last few days. Um, I'm back in the hospital. Uh, you know, we had a week out where we thought we were better, and um, the numbers just sort of plummeted. So I was pretty steady around 25,000 platelets, and then all of a sudden they went to 11 and then 8. Um, so the, the doctors got kind of concerned. And, they started me on, uh, they want a month worth of this kind of small dosage chemo um, for my, to help take away my immune system. They think my immune system's eating my platelets and they're eating so many platelets, it's critical that, it's just more critical to, to get rid of the immune system and help the platelets. Um, and uh, so that happened, um, and then I realized they went down even lower, so they, they gave me a platelet transfusion. Um, I didn't have the best reaction to the chemo, which they said is normal, but um, that was a little scary too. Um, you just you get it, and, and you, the, the normal reaction and what I had is um, like your throat closes up, so you can't breathe, and you get a fever, and you get a rash, and it gets really hot. Um, but there's so many nurses there that they're, they're at you in a second, and uh, they pump a bunch of more medicine into you, and it, it goes away pretty fast. Um, but uh, a little overwhelming, all of it. Um, the, the chemo, the nice part of chemo is I qualify for these chemo curves now, so I get like free Ubers. <laughs> um, yeah, the platelets, uh, I, they, some other numbers went down, my hemoglobin went down, which just makes me really tired. Um, but it went down enough where they gave me some units of blood, um, they gave me some shots to help trigger the platelets. Um, and this has all just been really kicked in uh, the last couple days. You know, last week we thought I was okay at home. We thought I could go back to work. They were even okay with me, like, moving to a new place for work. Um, and then, you know, all of a sudden it just didn't do what they expected. Um, but some other doctors were saying that's normal with, um, with what they think this is, which is low platelet counts. Um... So yeah, the, just taking the punches as they come, um, nothing that I can't manage. Been a bit of an overwhelming couple days, phone died, don't really want to talk about medical things, but positivity is appreciated, getting my first platelet transfusion because my numbers dropped below 10k. Numbers went down, back in the hospital. In the last 48 hours, I had my first session of chemo, three runs of IV Benadryl, one run of IV steroids, one unit of platelets, two units of blood, basically just pumping my body through this IV to keep it going. Numbers all of a sudden just got really low, but I'm keeping afloat. Just rolling with the punches. Finally let out of the hospital, got out of the house, and had some hot chocolate. I appreciate it.